Mary was <laughs> pregnant and must have been very uncomfortable riding so long on the donkey's back. Oh, she knew she could give birth at any time, maybe even before they arrived in Bethlehem, but she hadn't wanted to stay behind alone. She wanted to be with Joseph when, the first, when their first baby was born, so they made the long journey together. After several days, they reached their destination, and Joseph immediately began looking for a place to stay. Seeing an inn nearby, he stopped and left Mary outside while he went to see about lodgings for the night. Do you have a place we could stay? asked Joseph. We've been traveling several days, and my wife is expecting a baby. She's very tired. Peering over Joseph's shoulder, the innkeeper could see that Mary was probably very close to giving birth. He suggested they stay in his private stable away from all the noise and confusion of the other travelers who were already crowding the inn. Joseph happily accepted the kind man's offer and went to get Mary. Meanwhile, the innkeeper, his wife, and their young daughter went ahead of Mary and Joseph to try to make their little stable as presentable as possible. They began by moving all their animals out into the yard so there would be more room for their guests. Then they swept the floor and tidied up the manger area, leaving some fresh hay for the baby's bed. When all was ready, Mary and Joseph entered the clean little stable and made themselves as comfortable as they could. Mary was especially pleased to have this private space, for she sensed that her baby would be born that very night. Wishing them a comfortable stay, the innkeeper slipped out the door, leaving his wife to help Mary with the birth. As Mary settled herself in for the night, the little stable girl asked if she could stay too. But her mother said, this is not the time or place for a child. Now run along with your father. So the little girl left the stable and reluctantly followed her father home. As the evening wore on, it was clear that this indeed would be the night of the baby's birth. And sure enough, Within a few hours, Mary, with the help of the innkeeper's wife, gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. was, 
for the birth of any new baby is the greatest of miracles. But this one seemed particularly special, and the animals were curious, as well as a little restless. They wanted to see what was going on inside. They also wanted to go back to their own stalls where they were used to sleeping. Finally, one of the animals, the donkey, stepped up to the door and nudged it with her nose, trying to get it open. But the innkeeper's wife shouted at her, Out! Out, you dirty thing! You can't come in here! You're covered in mud and much too smelly to be around a new baby. That goes for the rest of you, too, she said to all the other animals huddled outside. There isn't room for you in here. But Mary wasn't the least bit bothered by the animals. It's all right, she said softly. Let them in. After all, we are in their house. Let them come in and see my beautiful baby. And so the doors were opened, and one by one the animals came into the stable. So I need 